Have you ever wanted to know one verse that can get you through any situation? One verse that applies to basically anything you could be going through. This one verse that I'm going to share with you today is literally the go-to verse for my every situation I've ever encountered. And it's also the verse that God always puts on my heart first to reread and to follow whenever I'm going through some darkness. Let's get right into it. So what is the verse? What is the one verse, the key verse that references everything that can help you get through whatever you're dealing with? Now, I do want to say this before we get started. To read this verse, to accept the fullness of this verse, you need to fully, really dive into it and understand what you're reading and what this means. Because this verse, putting it into your life, putting it into a daily habit, putting it into something that's going to build the fruit you're seeking to have growing from your tree is it, you have to have a change of heart. Yeah, you, you have to be willing and able to accept it and sacrifice some things from this. Let me read the verse that I'm talking to. Now you can find this verse in Proverbs, okay? Now this is Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 and 6 essential key verse to my everyday life it says trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding okay very important there in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths now why is this verse so powerful why does this solve all your issues the thing about this verse is let's really dive into it okay First line, first line, okay. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. A lot of people don't understand what that really means. And it, when it means all your heart, it means all your heart, all your being, everything in you. You have to fully commit and trust. And that means accepting whatever may come, whether it hurts you or whether you don't agree with it or it makes you uncomfortable. Because I'm going to tell you, being a Christian is 100% uncomfortable. You have an inner peace. You have an inner joy that God gives you. And he will carry you through it. But trust me, the whole journey will make you uncomfortable. But that is where the fruit becomes produced, is from the uncomfortable moments. So trust in the Lord with all your heart. Your heart is very essential when talking to God, when praying. You see, when he hears you, it's not he's listening to your words. He's looking at your heart. What is your heart showing him when you're praying? Is it selfish, um, greedy agendas? Is it you're actually humbling yourself and trying to help someone or better yourself for the betterment of others it's all about your heart so when it says trust in the lord with all your heart it means literally give your heart to god make him the center of it and the only primary focus of your heart which will then lead us in to the next part of this verse and where it says lean not on your own understanding that is a huge sacrifice You have to kick pride to the curb with that. You cannot hold on to your pride. You cannot hold on to your own wisdom, your own knowledge, your own experiences. It comes to leaning not on your own understanding. You have to wipe away all of that and allow God to give you his understanding. Allow the Lord to show you his understanding and then you will experience something that is completely new most of the time our first initial thought is search our brain what do we know what do we already know and how can we apply it but with this you have to simply wash that away and not lean on what you know but lean on what god can teach you right so lean not on your own understanding in whatever situation you're currently in applying this to So if you're dealing with something, you're like, this is what I know about this situation. This is what I know what will happen. This is what I know could happen. All of that matters not. In all your ways, acknowledge him. This is probably the hardest part of this verse right here. Many, many will say, but I always put God first. I acknowledge him in all my ways, but do you? Do you really? And what I mean by that is when you take your next five steps, are you asking God to lead you in those steps that is according to his will? Are you asking him to help you through every single situation? I myself am still struggling with this, but I work on it. When I'm going to the store, I ask God, all right, Lord, before I even crank this car up, 
Please give me safety. Give me guidance on my way there. Let me be spiritually aware of anything you want me to come in contact with or have or be a part of. When I go in that store, Lord, let me not be so blinded by my objective there and totally overlook anybody that you could be putting in my path to allow something to be born in your will, Lord. So acknowledging the Lord in all your ways means everything. Everything down to your thoughts, to your feelings in your heart, to the words that come out of your mouth, to the steps you take and the paths you choose. You have to literally follow Jesus as you're going along. That is leaning on his understanding and not yours and acknowledging him in everything. Gratitude, humbleness, super key here. I literally try to thank God for every single thing, like even the smallest bit. You know, if I just barely miss something or I'm like, oh, thank you, Lord, that could have been me. I could have done this, but that didn't happen because you were watching me. And acknowledge him in all of those moments that those come against you because I'm going to tell you right now, Satan will use those to attack you. You might be on the path that God set of, set you on, but then Satan will throw a little thought up in there and then you'll play with that thought and lead into it and then you are no longer leaning on God's understanding but your own understanding and what Satan's feeding you. So you always have to be spiritually aware and you always have to be in battle mode especially when you're trying to acknowledge the Lord in all your ways. Now let's move on to the last part of this verse. He shall direct your paths. You see it's a four step thing. First, you just come to God. Give everything to Him, right? And then you make your next moves based on what He allows to be in your path. I know this sounds very complicated. It sounds complex, but it's really not. You just have to let go. And that's so hard to do sometimes because our brain's flooding with thoughts and desires and things we want to get done or we want to accomplish. All of that just mutters down the path that God is trying to set you on. So you have to always remember not your thoughts, but his thoughts. Not your heart, but his heart. And that's where the what would Jesus do comment comes in because that literally applies to this. If you can ask yourself what would Jesus do in every situation you're in, you'll have a much better, clearer understanding of what you should do to be a responsible and characteristic Christian that has the characters of Jesus. Hope this helps. I hope that you guys understand. Please go read Proverbs. It will open up your world to so many things. Uh, you'll have so much more wisdom from reading it. The books of Proverbs is so inspiring. It really helps me in everything. If I don't know where to go in the Bible, I go to Psalms or I go to Proverbs because I know that I can go there and get some actual meat from God, some spiritual wisdom that will flip my world upside down. So like I said, if you did enjoy, please like, follow for more Christian content like this. It's time for us to be bold. And I'm going to step out here and try to make Christian content as much as I can and be bold for the Lord. Because the world is getting dark and it's time for us as Christians to stand up and show our boldness. Show our love. Show our walk. Let our fruit be shown. Our light shine to give glory back to Him. I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you for watching. And I hope this finds somebody that needs it. Peace out. I love you. And please remember Jesus loves you. And just talk to him. Talk to him every day, every moment, anytime you have the opportunity. Just talk to him. It's simple. He just wants to be there for you. Just give it to him. Talk to him like a normal person. And he'll come to you.